Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. You are so faithful. Thank you, Lord, for another time in your presence. You have been faithful, Lord. You are so faithful, Lord. We worship and adore you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as you are about to hear your word, Lord, speak to us in the language that we will understand. Your name is exalted forever. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hello, friends. How are you doing? We thank God for another day, another time to hear from him. We say may his name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, I'll be speaking on the topic, crossing the Red Sea. Crossing the Red Sea. What Red Sea is confronting you? And then what Pharaoh and his agents are confronting you at the back? Are you between the Red Sea and um, Pharaoh? The Word of God will help you the lord will help you as you listen to this word today the lord will bless you the lord will help you in jesus name amen i'll be taking our reading from Exodus chapter 14 verse 13 verse 13 said and moses said unto the people fear ye not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show to you today for the egyptians whom ye have seen today you shall see them again no more forever that is the word of god to whoever is listening to me now the egyptians that you saw last month the egyptians you saw yesterday if the egyptians you are seeing now you will see them no more in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ when we face troubles, when we are in times of dilemma, temptations and trials, faith looks foolish to us. When someone comes to you and says, ah, you're, you're passing through this pain, have faith in God. Sometimes it looks foolish. It not look as if God has tricked us, as if God has deceived us. He promised us that he will be with us. But look at that was what happened to the children of Israel. When God sent a Moses to them, he came, he told them what the Lord said. Oh, they were so happy. They felt so motivated. But when they saw what began to happen, they were like, ah, but God said, but God said, and ah, it even got to the height that when the Pharaoh said, finally Pharaoh said they should go, when they now got to the Red Sea. Ah, I remember that when Pharaoh said they should go, as they left, Pharaoh changed his mind again and sent his army to go and get them back. The children of Israel were running, and then the chariots and their riders, they were running. Now they go to the Red Sea. I, Moses, you and God have tricked. You should have allowed us now. Did we beg you? Did we tell you that we, we want to go? You should have allowed us to remain where we are. See now, see what you have caused for us now. These people would not come and kill us. Assuming that we are still in Egypt, they would have still pardoned us. They would have still be give, giving us small, small things to eat. Now they will come and kill us. See, see what you and God have done. They took it that God was uh, um, cheating on them, that God tricked them. Moses told God, see, look at what is happening. God asked him, what is in your hand? Hey, now you, 
you are passing through one trouble or the other you're passing through one temptation or the other you're passing through one pain or the other and it looks as if there is no help your mother is not there to help you your father is not here there to you your siblings are not there to help you nobody is there to help you you're just on your own you are looking up to God and yet it seems as if God has hidden his face away from you now you think you are all alone in the world God is asking you now, what is in your hand? Remember I used to say that when God wants to bless you, when God wants to help you, what will he see in your hand as a means, as a connection? If there is nothing in your hand, then what will God use? A workman that needed not to be ashamed. You want God to bless you. What are you doing that God will use and bless you? You want God to lift you up. What level are you in? Or are you just sitting in your house waiting for him to bless you? Crossing the Red Sea. Moses didn't have anything at hand. Do you think? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a great God. He's a merciful God. But if he didn't have anything at that time at the heart, maybe the, 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 the parting of the sea would have been delayed. But because he had something in his hand, on his hand, because what do you have? I have a stick. He said, okay, use it. Now I'm asking you. You are passing through troubles. You are passing through pains. You, you are passing through difficulties. What do you have in your hand? What will God see? And use it to bless you. God is not looking for your money. He's not asking you to have money. Like people will say, um, you pay money to get more money. No. He's not asking for your money. He is asking for your faith. Do you have faith? Jesus Christ said, if our faith is at least two, as a mustard seed, it can move mountains. Now the question is, do you have faith at all? We see what is happening. Pain, trouble. In fact, everybody gets annoyed at this light test these days because things are getting out of hand. And somebody will go and sit at home and say, I'm waiting for God to bless me when you're not doing anything. A workman that needed not should be ashamed. Then when God sees you doing something, he will use it and bless you. Yes, manners for miracles happen, but do something and let God see you doing something. Hallelujah. Have you ever had this experience that what you thought would have weighed you down in the midst of it all, God came through for you? You thought that, ah, this trouble, this trouble, I don't know what to do. But at the end of it, God came through for you. This sickness is killing me, is weighing me. That they, 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 you and even people thought that maybe that sickness will kill you. That we've heard story of people that we thought that that sickness will kill them, but today they are alive, healthy, and strong. It is a rest of life. 
have you been poor wretched before that to eat three square meals even two is even hard for you but today you are standing strong you can eat you can feed other people now you agree with me that you did not achieve all this by sitting down down and waiting for god to come and bless you you, you stood up and you went to work you went to do something for yourself that god used to raise you up you cannot cross the red sea in your house if the children of israel were still in egypt they would have not crossed the red sea they would have not even known that there is a red sea to cross but thank god who brought them out and brought them even to that level of red sea he saw their willingness and then he helped them he parted the rest and they were able to pass and the bible said that as soon as they passed the 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 chariots and the riders they were coming they thought they too they can pass but as they go to the middle of the sea the Lord closed back the river. By then, the Israelites have gone past the river or the sea. Just have faith in God. He will help you. He will help you to cross that Red Sea. People will come to discourage you. Many people will even come to come and tell you, eh, eh, go and do this, go and do that, go and do this, go and do that, so that you make money. Wait again. I said, You mean God's time in you is the best. Don't do what you will regret tomorrow. You may go to go and consult other powers, but what you pay will be more than so. Why not wait and remain? Continue to work at the end. God will reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now this question. When he's saying, when you've been praying, 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 believing in God, that God will do it, that God will do it, that God will do it, that God will do it. Will do it. And then, it didn't happen. How do you feel? Some people have fallen out of faith because what they prayed for, trusting and believing that God would do it for them, but he didn't do it for them. It happens. But do you also know that you can be asking God for a miracle? a particular miracle you have the type of miracle you want in your head already so you're asking god do that god may not answer it but god may use another means to answer it to answer your prayer Lord, I, 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 I want to bag I want to buy a bag of rice. I want to buy a bag of rice. God did not answer you. God did not give you money to buy a bag of rice. And God gives you money to buy another thing. Food. It is still God. And when it's not right for you to not eat rice. God will now buy rice or give you money to buy rice. Some of the things that we call unanswered prayers are actually not the will of God for us at that time. See, let me tell you something. If God doesn't always answer your prayers, I think you should be happy. Why? Because he knows that you don't need it at that time. You prayed for his perfect will. And now he is doing it for you. No, now you are annoyed. Ah, God did not answer me. God did not answer me. See, if he had asked for his permissive will, 
he will answer you. And if it gets for what he will tell you, or you, 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 you yourself will remind yourself that you are the one that asks for it. But when you ask God for his perfect will, and then you make a request, he will wait. If it is not for you, it is not right for you yet at that time, he will wait. I pray that God will help us. So. I pray that he will help us. That the Red Sea of life will not swallow us. That troubles of this life will not swallow us. That the pains of this life will not swallow us. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will meet us at the point of our He will not allow any evil to befall us. He will not allow the temptation that is more than us to come to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every Red Sea in our life. The Lord opens it up for us to cross in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Adonai. night. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God, for answered prayers. Your name is exalted forever. We worship and adore you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you for listening and God bless you. See you again on Sunday and on Tuesday for another word from the Lord. And please, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, The Baptist Victoria, please subscribe so that when I post other videos, you will also be notified. Thank you and God bless you. I love you. Bye.